Chapter 2, Preparing for Your Surgery. In this chapter, we will discuss the preparation needed in the weeks and days leading up to surgery. Preparing for Surgery, Attending UCSF Prepare Clinic. Prior to surgery, you will be scheduled with our anesthesia department, which is called the Prepare Clinic. This appointment is typically scheduled two to three weeks before surgery and will be coordinated by our office. During this appointment, you will be screened on your overall medical health to determine that you are fit for surgery. You will have necessary blood work for routine screening. They will also provide a comprehensive review of any medications you are taking and develop a plan on how to adjust, if needed, your medications leading up to surgery. You will be given a plan on how to take current medications 24 hours before surgery and also what to take morning of surgery. UCSF Prepare Clinic and Medication Review. We will adjust medications that could increase bleeding and interfere with anesthesia. At your Prepare Clinic visit, you will be instructed to stop taking any medications prior to surgery that may increase bleeding or have potential to interfere with anesthesia. Examples include over-the-counter or prescription anti-inflammatories, also called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen or Advil, naproxen or Aleve. This will also include many herbal supplements, vitamin E supplements, and fish oil omega-3 fatty acids. This may also include decreasing painkillers such as narcotic pain medication. Adjusting medications for patients at high cardiac risk or other medical risk. For patients on blood thinners, including aspirin, a plan will be determined on safely stopping and restarting your medication. This plan will be individually determined by your care team. This could include your cardiologist, hematologist, neurologist, your anesthesiologist, your primary care physician, and your orthopedic surgeon. Preparing for surgery, two-day checklist. No eating or drinking after midnight the night before surgery. No food, beverages, including water, are permitted after midnight the night before surgery. This is a safety precaution for your anesthesia. Note. For routine medications, if instructed by our prepare clinic, you may take morning of surgery with sips of water. Please follow the instructions outlined by our prepare clinic. Showering with HippoCleanse. To decrease risk of infection, we ask that you shower with an antibacterial soap called HippoCleanse. This will be provided by either your surgeon's office, the prepare clinic, or is available for purchase over the counter. Showering with HippoCleanse soap two nights before surgery, the night before surgery, and morning of surgery. Avoid using this soap on your face, hair, and genitals. Dental work. Delay routine dental work after surgery. Please refrain from scheduling any routine dental procedures for six to 12 weeks following your surgery. Please check with your surgeon on time frame for routine dental work. If you are faced with a dental emergency in the first six to 12 weeks after surgery, we may recommend that you take an antibiotic prior to that appointment. Preparing for surgery, packing for your hospital stay. What to bring? Identification. You will need to bring your photo ID and your health insurance card for checking into the hospital. Essential items. Please bring items that are essential for use, such as eyeglasses, dentures, and hearing aids. If you wear contact lenses, please remove your contact lenses and switch to eyeglasses for your surgical procedure. Entertainment. Books, magazines, and small electronic devices, such as mobile phones and tablets, and headphones are permitted. Please note, the hospital will provide complimentary internet and cable. Clothing. A set of comfortable, loose-fitting clothes, underclothing, and shoes that offer support, no flip-flops, please, to wear when you leave the hospital. During your hospital stay, we will provide you with gowns and socks with traction for walking in the hallways. You may also consider bringing other items such as a robe or personal toiletries. What not to bring? Medications. Please do not bring any of your routine medications from home with you. The hospital will provide you with the medications that you take on a regular basis. Money. If possible, please limit the amount of cash and or credit cards that you bring for your hospital stay. Jewelry. Please leave all jewelry at home. This includes wedding bands and earrings. We do offer room service for your meals during your hospital stay. You will be provided with a menu and will have the ability to order meals between the hours of 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. We do have nutrition assistants who are available to discuss options with you if you have a special diet or dietary restrictions. Preparing for surgery, planning for your return home. 
Transportation. Please arrange for someone to drive or accompany you both to your surgery and on your trip home. This is required by the hospital. Safe floors. Set aside loose rugs, rearrange furniture to make clear pathways that are free of clutter. This includes extension cords or anything that would block you from getting around your home safely. Safe sleeping area. If your bed is not elevated to your knee level, you will want to elevate it. A low cost solution is to purchase risers, which you'll see in the image to the left. The reason is it will be difficult for you to get into and out of a low bed initially during your recovery. If needed, you may also consider sleeping accommodations on a single floor. Safe bathroom. Evaluate your bathroom setup for safety. You may consider items such as elevated toilet seats, shower chairs, and non-slip surfaces for covering wet areas. It is suggested to have a firm chair with handles. This is to provide comfort and support for your at-home physical therapy exercises. Please avoid chairs with wheels. Food. You may consider buying or preparing food that's readily available and easy to prepare after surgery. Stock up on items that are commonly used, such as bottled water or maybe even some comfort foods. Assessing your home. During your hospital stay, you will be visited by a physical therapist following surgery. A physical therapist will be asking you about your home environment in order to develop a plan for safe return to home. Please note the number of steps you climb within your home, the height of your bed, what types of chair or seating you have available, and the average distance in steps between rooms.